Hi everyone, Brad from the Running Company in Yarraville here to do a quick shoe review on the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2, uh, which is one of the latest releases from, from Saucony um, and the pinnacle of their Endorphin collection. Uh, for those of you that have ran in the, the Pro 1 or the Speed, um, I think you really enjoy the Pro 2 with really the main sort of update in the shoe, just in the, the upper of the shoe itself. Um, made from recyclable materials, it's just that nice lightweight mesh sort of upper, so it's nice and breathable. A um, little bit more room in through the toe box, um, which I found um, I actually enjoyed having a little bit more space, just allowed the toes to sort of splay a little bit more. Gusseted tongue, anti-slip laces, you've got the ability to lock lace the shoe as well if you want to. Um, so from that midfoot point of view, just gives it that really nice like locked fit and feel in through there. A little bit more structure to the heel counter. Um, so again, from a fit and a feel point of view when you're running in the shoe, you get a good sense of stability because the shoe just like holds the foot in place. Midsole of the shoe is effectively the same. You've got Saucony's um, Power Run PB midsole. So it's got that nice, I guess, blend of being light, plush, um, yet really responsive underfoot. You've got your full length S-shaped carbon plate, um, which is what gives us that speed roll effect. Naturally wants to like roll the foot forward. Um, and as with all carbon plated shoes, it's that, that's what gives us that nice natural sort of forward momentum or propulsion. Um, definitely something that you notice the faster that you're running in the shoes, just that sense of the shoe is you know, wanting to roll me forward and do a bit of the work for me. Um, coming in at uh, just over 200 grams, eight mil offset and quite grippy underfoot. Um, you'll notice you've got a little bit more sort of reinforcing in and around the heel, plenty of grip in through the forefoot. Um, running both road and track, I had no issues from a traction point of view. Taking the shoes off-road, um, now when I say off-road, I'm talking about some very light sort of gravel track, um, single sort of mountain bike tracks. Again, no issue from a grip point of view. Definitely a shoe that's targeted more for, for coming out on race day, um, but in saying that, don't be afraid to sort of chuck it on for a few of your, you know, your marathon or your half marathon pace sort of workouts, um, some of your tempo, your, your, your threshold type runs. Um, I mean, as a marathon runner myself, I know I like to get a few of my key workouts done in the shoe. Um, and especially if you haven't been in a carbon plated shoe before, you want to get a sense of how the shoes feel. Um, so again, don't be afraid to sort of chuck them on and, and go for a few um, sort of runs uh, before the actual, the, you know, the day of the event um, itself. Um, so all in all, a great update from Saucony. Um, if you haven't checked them out, pop into your local running company store, come and see us at Yarraville. Um, if you don't know where your closest store is, jump onto the running company website. Um, find your um, closest store, pop in and see any of the team there. Um, chuck a pair of these on your, on your feet, see how they feel, and um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you come race day. Cheers.